All right, we're going to look at something called a dihybrid cross. This will just be an intro to it. It is indeed a two-trait cross. Uh, so far, we've looked at monohybrid crosses or just single-trait crosses. Um, like, say, seed shape could have been either round or wrinkled. That's just a single trait, the single trait of seed shape. Uh, what about crosses involving two different traits? These are called dihybrid crosses. To determine the possible offspring, we can also use a Punnett square. It just needs to be a little larger. We'll look at that actually in the next lesson, but today is, a, is an intro to this. So let's take a look at a couple uh, traits here. We could have seed shape and seed color. And so, uh, for example, we could cross a plant that is heterozygous for seed shape. Hmm, heterozygous, okay. So, big R little r, heterozygous for seed shape, and seed color. Okay, so it's going to be both of these, the big r, little r, and big y, little y. So indeed, let's write out its genotype, big r, little r, big y, little y. And a plant that is homozygous dominant for both seed shape and color. So what's that uh, genotype going to be? Homozygous dominant, big R, big R, and homozygous dominant for seed color, big Y, big Y. So we'll look at how to set these uh, up in a pun what's called in a Punnett square. Um, for now, let's just think about how many different gametes combinations would we have with this one right here? Big R, little R, big Y, little Y. Remember that when we had big R, little r, it had two possible gametes, the big R and the little r. So if we've got this one here, it's got two traits, it's going to end up having big R, big Y, one, big R, little y, two, little r, big y, three, little r, little y, four. Oh, that is so interesting, right? Let's see really quickly how we did that. This one right here, make sure it pays attention or combines with that one. That's one possible combination, but it could also combine with that. So the big R has two possible combinations, either big Y or little y. Well, the little r, let's just change our color here. The little r could also have two combinations, one with the big Y, and one with the little y. Thus, we get our four possible gametes out of two traits. As you can see, there's always a pattern. Okay, let's see what we learn next.